Hi guys, so today I'm here to talk to you about Hit by Delilah Dawson. Uh, this book was given to me by Simon Pulse for an honest review. Thank you very much to Simon Pulse because I honestly liked this book much more than I expected to. This book takes place in our time. Our government has been taken over by Valor Bank, or they have been bought by Valor Bank. Valor Bank is just one of their national banks, and now basically Valor's biggest goal is to try and get everybody out of debt in a very scary way. Patsy is our main character. She's 16 years old. She lives with her mother. The dad left them when she was very, very young. Her mother very recently got into a car accident, so they have a lot of medical bills, and also her mother has cancer. So obviously lots of medical bills that they cannot pay, and also they've been very tight on money since the dad has left. A CIA agent type person comes to their door and she basically tells Patsy, one, they could pay the debt in full, two, she can become a bounty hunter for Valor Bank, or three, he could kill her mother, and I mean, he could kill her too. Obviously, she doesn't want any of those things to happen, but she picks Bounty Hunter, and as a Bounty Hunter, she would basically be doing the same thing that this man just did. She would go up to people that were in debt, and she would give them those three choices, and if they didn't choose one or two, then she would have to kill them. She gets five days and ten assignments. Those ten assignments are ten people that are in debt that she has to go up to and give them those three choices. And those ten people, unbeknownst to her in the beginning, are related to her in some fashion. This book was crazy and action-packed and wonderful. I really enjoyed it. The one thing that I love the most, I will say, is it is so relatable on all levels, and the fact that Delilah Dawson picked the economy as something that's like very relatable and dark is so wonderful because it literally relates to anybody, like anybody, and I don't know why more authors haven't talked about the subject, especially in YA, because I feel like it's immensely prevalent there. A lot of Patsy's assignments that she would go up to either owed like $18,000 in debt up to 100000 and those are very reasonable numbers. Most of people in America are in debt from $18,000 to $100,000, if not more. You got student loans, you got house loans, you got your basic credit card bills. Those are very, very real numbers and it's very scary to see this extreme situation happen just because of those small debts. You feel? The characters. Patsy, our main character, so awesome. She used to work in a pizza place before she became a bounty hunter. Basically, she's just this sassy, wonderful character. She likes yarn bombing. She also likes going hunting with like her redneck friends. And she's just trying to get by and trying to eventually go to college and make something of herself. She has really good morals, which I appreciated. There wasn't any time in the dialogue where I was like, ugh, I don't agree with that. I agreed with everything. She was great. There was also a love interest, which I didn't love because of the whole situation that was going on. I felt like it just didn't fit in the story, but I did like the love interest a lot. Like, I loved Wyatt as a person, just not as a relationship sort. Wyatt as a character that was so great, he brought a lot of levity into the situation, and he was just fun. The way that this book was written kind of reminded me of Rebel Bell. It was very popular last summer, so I don't know if you guys have read it, but uh, Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins. I gave that book a 3 out of 5, I believe. I wasn't in love with it, but the writing style was great because the book was very action-packed, but it held a lot of levity and a lot of sassiness. And that was like this book. Lots of action, lots of sassiness. I just love the characters in here a lot more than Rebel Bell. I think I like this situation more as well because it's highly more relatable. About three-fourths of the way through this book, a new conflict was introduced, and I was like, tell me this is not going to be a series. And then I looked it up on Goodreads, and turns out it's going to be a series. I was nervous that this was going to be like a cliffhanger sort of ending, but to my happy, happy surprise, it wasn't. Like I said, there were 10 assignments that needed to be completed through this story, and the 10 assignments were completed. So it is a final sort of ending. I felt very satisfied reading this, knowing that the next book isn't coming out for another year at least. While there are some questions unanswered, and while you do want to know more about the characters, it was still a good solid ending, and I still am looking forward to the next book in the series because I want to know more about these characters and what else they have to go through. Another really quick thing that I want to mention is I thought that this would work great as a graphic novel series. I kept seeing it as a graphic novel series. Every single assignment that she had was just full of action and full of heart, actually, too, because because all of the assignments were somewhat related to her in some way. So I kept seeing it as like this colorful, action-packed graphic novel, and I know that probably won't happen ever, but I'm just saying, 
I would love to read it. Another thing that I would also love to read is since these people were somehow in her background story in some way, I would love a few novellas of a few of the assignments. Some of them were just so interesting and I wanted to know so much more about their background and how they were related to Patsy. So if there were ever novellas written, I would totally love to read those as well. All in all, I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars. It was really, really great. I totally enjoyed it. And I was at Barnes & Noble the other day and this book came out on 414, so Tuesday of this week. I saw it on the shelf and I grabbed a copy, one copy, to give away to you guys. The finished hardcover version is beautiful. It looks like a debit card, which I think is just really hilarious. To enter into this giveaway, all you have to do is comment down below and say that you are interested in the giveaway. Other ways that you can enter is to retweet the tweet that links you to this video. So I will link that from Twitter down below if you guys want to do that. Another thing that you could do is also go to my very last Instagram photo that I posted, which is this one right here, and you can just just comment on that as well saying that you're interested in the giveaway. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this giveaway on Sunday at 11.59 Eastern Standard Time. Any entries after that I will not take into account, um, but I'm going to take the total number from all those social media sites and I'm going to put them into a random counter and just pick the winner off of that. So basically the more ways that you enter, the more chances you do have to win, but I beg of you, please don't spam my social media accounts. You can enter once on all three media sites per day, uh, so please do that. If you do it more so, then I will not take it into account just because I really would love for you guys not to spam my accounts. That'd mean the world to me. I'm super excited to give this away, um, mainly because it's a really good book, also because I haven't done a giveaway since like last summer. So why not? This is international, by the way, too. I'll send it anywhere in the world for you guys, so go for it. I won't be mentioning the winner at 11.59 on Sunday, but I will be mentioning the winner um, during my next video. 11.59 is just when it's going to be closing, and then during my next video I will announce the winner. So I hope you guys are having a great day. I will see you soon. Bye!